pretty strong. So it kind of turns Yi into a... Uh, the idea is that we're turning Yi into an Alpha Strike champion instead of an on-hit champion here. Yeah, so no, it's not a lethality version of Blade and Rune King because Blade and Rune King does it per hit. I like how Jace is chasing him around instead of going to the tower. Classy. Also, our jungle item has changed a little bit. But overall, I think the changes this season are net beneficial for Master Yi. Um, and while Eclipse is overpowered, people won't be building uh, the stealth item. Alright, well let's go down here. Yep, Eclipse, Eclipse is definitely going to be a problem item for Riot to balance. Definitely going to be a problem item. But you can see the clear is nice and quick. Everything's good. Like, I didn't have a leash, and we're still probably going to get to the crab at about, like, 325 or so. Which is pretty solid clear time. Because now we, uh, we got this burn on our first clear. Yeah, so look at this. Look at this. We're, like, not even remotely that far behind, honestly. Without a leash, we're getting to the crab at the same time where we would have a leash. And we still have smite up as well. Look at this. Perfect. Look at the timing. No leash. It's great. So, yeah, our uh, first clear has increased pretty well. <clears throat> Lee Sin has 16 CS. He's going for the... Uh, I think that'll die, yeah. The burn is still a little confusing how it functions. Okay, his raptors are up. We're going to take these, and we're going to smite them. Because raptors are super easy to kill with the burn. Now that we have a burn, raptors are super easy to kill. But yeah, basically what we do is Master Yi is now a uh, burst. He's a burst alpha strike spamming champion rather than an on-hit champion. Which is okay either way. Right, we'll get him out of there. Uh, nice little double kill for me. Yeah, I kind of stole that, but that's okay. So the first item that we're going to be working on, guys, the Eclipse, as I mentioned. Uh, it's a mythical item, and basically every time you buy a legendary item, you get a special bonus with it as well. So in this case, this item gives us 4% armor penetration every legendary item. So legendary items are like these, right? Goon Zeus, Blade and Rune King. Um, whoops. So the idea here is that we're running a really lethality armor pin based build. So there's a new mastery. There's, I'm actually using two new runes and two new masteries here. Yeah, I'll explain the stacks in a second. The new mastery basically, the new mastery basically gives me 20% armor pin. And now the wording of it makes it sound like it's different than actual flat armor pin or the armor pin percent. But when you look at it in the settings here, you can see it says I have 8% armor pin. And it'll stack with my other items. So the idea is that Mashi is getting over 50% armor penetration from his items. Which is really nutty. And we're also going to be looking at grabbing ourselves over 30% cooldown reduction on Master Yi. That's insane. Mashi never has that much cooldown reduction. So our alpha strike is going down to about 8 seconds cooldown. And this is PvE. And yes, the smite has stacks. So the way the smite works is when you run out of smite stacks, uh, it transforms into blue smite and the item disappears from your inventory. That should be burning. I don't know why those didn't burn. But you know what? That's okay. I could probably kill TF here. Mm. Oh, I thought he was alone, so I was about to flash on him. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was playing a very dangerous game there. Actually, I'm going to go this way. Clean. Oh, is that clean? Hey, YouTube. I don't think it was that clean, but, you know, if he's impressed, you guys will be impressed. I'm just kind of used to it by now. I probably didn't need to flash there. All right, so we're getting pretty well off here. Is that a kindred stack? Oh, that's TF mark. Wait, who is that? I can't tell who's who. <laughs> oh, it's Lee Sin, right? He has a new dragon skin or something. <sighs> it's so much to learn. I can't even imagine how a new player can play League. All right, so we're just going to do a full clear until we have enough for the new Eclipse item. I'm telling you guys, Eclipse is so overpowered. Once you see I get it, it's just going to be a beast mode. It's going to be beast mode. Oh, oh, no, I was reading chat. No, they were saying nice things to me, and now the Gromp has baited me. Okay, so you see the smite item just disappeared. So we now have the uh, blue smite. And we have an extra slot in our inventory. And we keep all the stats of the smite. So we keep the burn and all those other nice things. So yeah, and the omni vamp, of course. The omni vamp's the most important thing. <sighs> so I'm going to end up carrying this game. I have three kills already, uh, which is good for me. And uh, before anybody asks, yeah, I'm, I'm playing solo queue right now. Uh, well, it's not like ranked, but it's, it's so, there's no ranked on PvE, which is where we're playing this. We are playing solo. These are just random players here. No duos or anything involved. Now, I don't think these things die to the burn because, you know, got to give them to those laners. Um, yeah, so when we're looking at, like, mythical items... So a mythical item costs about 800 gold more than the jungle item. And since you have to buy the jungle item anyway, it's actually 1,100 gold more. Um, so you would probably be looking to have this item at around 12 minutes. I got it at 850. I got it at 850, which is really, really, really early. This is this is going to be a stomp if you ever did see one, and I'm I'm quite I'm quite happy to bring you guys a stomp. So what we're going to be building after this is we're going to be building some crit items. I have personally been running um, the Lord Dominic's Regard secondary. It gives you that armor pin. Now, obviously, armor pin isn't as good. Um, you know before people start building armor but when you're stacking it with the other item it just kind of gets out of control uh you can also run navari so navari is like old spear shojin when you auto attack and get a critical strike your cooldowns reduce oh i messed up i actually messed up i messed up my auto attack but you saw that burst damage, and look at it, it's already off cooldown. Look at this damage, watch this. Look at this damage. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. It's nuts. I'm so fed. It's, it does so much damage, it's so good. I left the pink, but I don't care, I'm just, I'm just so surprised by that damage. It's insane. And the thing is, is like, if we buy the armor pin item next, we can crit. Don't forget, guys, our alpha strike can crit, right? So it just, it gets stronger and stronger. We're going to be nuts. And we also, we didn't even talk about the new second rune that I was telling you guys about. It is a transcendence. Yes, transcendence is now a new rune. I know it sounds insane, right? So transcendence used to give 10% CDR, and everything above the cap gave you AD, right? But now it's different. It still gives 10%. It gives 10% ability haste, which is basically 10% CDR. Look at this. I have 17% CDR right now, by the way. 17%. I have 17% CDR right now because I have blue buff, right? Um, so it still gives that. But now when you get a kill or an assist, your cooldowns are reduced by 20% of the remaining amount. 
Basically, it's like Highlander. You know how Highlander resets your cooldowns? Transcendence does that, but it resets 20%. And it's additive with Highlander, which means you reset 90% of your kill cooldowns when you have Transcendence. But that's at level 11. You don't get it right away. You get it at level 11. So when you're running 30% cooldown reduction, right? Transcendence. And, and Navari Quick Blade, which makes your cooldowns go down. It becomes kind of insane very, very quickly. I'm expecting Jace to pop through here, and I'm just going to kill him real quick if he does. Hmm. He did not come this way, but I think we can kill him anyway. Let's roll up. So you guys ready? I'm going to get double strike ready. He can't really do anything against that. He just gets bursted. Now, if we had the alternative item, which is like the Kraken Slayer, we could do true damage to that tower, right? <clears throat> hey, thank you, uh, Must Talkman, for the 25 stars. Long time no see. Hi, Kaos, at long time no see. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, man. Just trying the new Master E build, enjoying it quite a lot. Thank you, man. Hope you're doing well as well. All right, so now we're going to be grabbing the. Um, the Navari Quick Blade. Now, Navari is not as good if you don't already have some crit to kind of make it more impactful because it lowers your cooldowns, right? But the item itself gives you 30 ability haste, which is like 23% cooldown reduction or something. I don't know the exact math behind the item, but it's insane. Like, we're going to get so much cooldown. It's, it's actually, you guys are going to just be so impressed with how this ends up being. I'm, I'm going to end up with like 30 kills and zero deaths. Like, Yi is going to be a nutty assassin now. Look at this. Look at this crab damage. Oh man, we can get more AD too. I think this is warded. Okay, so watch his two shot on Senna. It's gonna be insane. Oh, she has exhaust. I'm lagging so hard, guys. I'm lagging so hard. I know that looked really sloppy, but you saw the damage and you see the reset, you see the shield, you see the movement speed. It's insane. This build is insane. Very nice. Yeah, we're going insane here. We're legendary. We're nine kills. We're just smacking that. Oh, what do we got? I would like to get me... I would love to get more CDR, but at the same time, we need more crit because the crit actually gives us CDR because of Navari Quick Blade's passive, right? Now, if we could get a little bit of both, that would be great. I haven't really taken a good look at what items give cooldown and crit chance, but I think Ezent Reaver and Navari, but Ezent Reaver is not that good. Though, I mean, Ezent Reaver has Spell Blade, which synergizes okay, but that's not really what we want. And on, so I think honestly what we're going to roll is we're going to roll the 30% armor penetration item into an infinity edge. We're just going to go insane, right? So let's go ahead and grab this Navari. And let's look at this item here. And we're going to grab the Cloak of Agility here. Let me go ahead. I don't know why this turned on again. I've been setting this as champion names. But yeah, like once we hit people, we're gonna pop them. Like we could, we'll probably end up one-shotting people with Alpha Strike a little bit later.
So we have people asking about Gunzus. I think that like Gunzus might become a thing if they like nerf Eclipse. But honestly, this build gives Yi everything that he wants. Right? Because Yi's Alpha Strike is a, like a really deadly tool. But we haven't had ways to utilize those items. And now we have plenty of items that we can uh, that we can use. Oh, we didn't kill him. Well, that sucked. <laughs> but yeah, you saw the damage, right? And guess what? It's already off cooldown. Uh, okay, that sucked. Does he have... No, he had a... Hmm. That was, that was awkward. <laughs> that was incredibly awkward. He kicked me into the tower with the Senna snare on me, and I couldn't do anything. And then I think after that, we're going to be rushing an Infinity Edge for the one-shots, for sure. I think I think Gunzu's is, is good. I think Gunzu's is good, but I think right now the Burshi is just too good. Like... Because the problem is, is Gunzus is giving us on-hit magic damage, and we don't really want on-hit magic damage when we're building a build that focuses on armor pin. Like, because Eclipse is giving lethality, and then this item that we're building here gives 30% armor penetration. And the magic damage just doesn't synergize well with that. Now, don't get me wrong, the magic damage skill's okay with uh, this. Oh. No. Feels bad, man. And also, a really cool thing about this build is it makes Alpha Strike actually do something. Right? Like, before, your Alpha Strike lit legitimately doesn't do anything. So, what I want to do is I want to get at least 50% crit. We are going to be getting Berserker Greaves. We probably should have bought those a little bit earlier. But we want to get at least 50% crit so that the Navari Blade here can lower my cooldowns. So if you take a look here, look at my cooldowns. 10 seconds, right? Oh, I didn't crit. Watch my cooldowns when I crit. I got about 35%. It's, it's actually an insane amount of damage here. So here, we'll do it again. Alpha. 10 seconds on it, right? Look at that. Down to 5. So your Alpha Strike is going to be coming off incredible time. Incredible timing. Look at this. We have 30% cooldown reduction. It's actually insane. Uh, how much do we need? We still need another 1,900. Ouchies. She's invisible. I can't actually hit her. Ow, what killed me? I don't understand. Yeah, I can't hit her. Uh, we gotta, we gotta, oops, oops. I gotta reconnect. She's invis. <laughs> I, I, yeah, so we have to reconnect because she's invisible. Some PBE jo Oh, Lee Sin's invisible too. Oh, Lee Sin, they're both invisible. Well, that sucks, huh? Yeah, you like my desktop? Yeah, so two players are invisible and I can't hit them, right? So, it's, uh, like, Senna is untargetable, and Lee Sin is invisible. I'm pretty sure this is a Senna bug. So, what happens is a Senna does her thing that makes her untargetable, and people inside become invisible. Because so far, I've only seen this bug on Senna. Pretty sure the invis is a Cinnabug. Yeah, so Cinna is targetable again. Lee Sin might still be invisible. Look at the CDR. Oh, man. 29% CDR mastery is a dream. I don't know why people are playing Cinna to do that. Look at this. Everybody builds Eclipse. Look, Eclipse, Eclipse, Eclipse.
What is Jace doing? It's like he wants to die. <laughs> yeah, we need some attack speed, which is why I want to get some Berserker Graves. Love to get some Berserker Graves here to, uh, uh, to proc my Navari more often. Now, the thing is, is with this build, we can't solo Baron very well. Like, I know in the current live version, we love to solo Baron, right? You can't really solo it that well. Does this give... How much ability haste does this give? 10? 10. So that gives us about 4% CDR right there. Alright, so what we want to do is we actually want to sit in a bush and wait. Because they're going to come up and check Baron, probably. Because, you know, I'm Master Yi. Look at that burst. You see that burst? I can act. <laughs> and we've been doing this burst damage. The moment you get the eclipse, you just... You nailed the burst damage. I think he's gonna come through this way. Nope, he went down. Will he go down this way? Where did he go? Almost. We got we got a big chunk on him. You consider, guys, I have two items. And that's how much damage I do. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get the Lord Dominic Regards. Even more penetration. We're going to finish off our boots with Berserker Greaves. And then we're going to buy more crit so that we have a higher burst. Like, overall, that was a pretty decent death for me. It gives me a lot out of that. So now we have 55% crit rate. And you got to remember, guys, Alpha Strike can critically strike. Um... So we got 55% critical strike chance. We have 266 AD. Um, 1.16 attack speed. I mean, overall, we're going to be seeing some really heavy burst here. I'm really looking forward to it. And Ellie sends a wussy. Sucks too, huh? Alright, let's go secure that ocean dragon. Man, I got three deaths now. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Somebody wants to know when we build Ginzus. I mean, if we're building this build, then we don't build Ginzus. The thing is, is even if we're all AD, it doesn't matter because we're sitting on 56% armor penetration. We have 56% armor pen. Think about that. 50%. We just penetrate everything. We're doing 252 damage to this thing. I don't know, like, uh, do you guys just not like dragons? Wait, how does he keep stealing that? You guys like that damage? I do. <laughs> I like it. Okay, that's a really... No! Yeah. Wait, what stunned me? Did you guys see that? What was that? Oh, it rooted me. Interesting, but yeah, we're just kicking the damage. We're just doing the damage So you can see crit master Yi is back So what's up next in my opinion in my opinion you want to get more burst damage and that burst damage is going to come from an item like infinity edge The thing is I've tested I've tested Gunju's, the literally the first thing I did was play with Gunju's Rage Blade and the Kraken Slayer. But this build just feels better. 
this build just feels better. And the reason why, there's several reasons. First of all is the burst. The burst is insane. The second of all is the lower cooldowns on Alpha Strike. That's, that's just insane as well. Like, we have 10 second cooldown on Alpha, guys. 10, ten seconds, okay? When we get a reset, we lose 7 seconds plus 2 seconds from Transcendence. That's 1 second. We auto attack, we got Alpha back up. And the thing is, is unlike like unlike the on-hit build, the alpha actually does damage. So you're using the alpha strike to do damage. Not only use it to dodge and other things like that. Also, the dusk or the eclipse gives us omni ban. And what this means is that we can now heal and sustain when we're pushing or other things like that. If you're running the Gunzu's build, you cannot sustain when you're split pushing at all. Look at the cooldown of my Q. Look at this. You can also spam E on Baron because the crits keep your E off the of cooldown. Look at my E cooldown. Look at that. It's going down, right? Look at this. Right? Gunju's really struggles to do that because there's no Omni Bam. Because we lost access to all of our healing. Because we no longer use Ravenous. Now we're using our um, Legend Destroyer and our Transcendence. Oh, she's invisible again. That's annoying. All right, what do we think? Do you want to play Gunzu's when you can do that? Watch this. Really? Do you want to? No, what? Wait, where is she? She's invisible. She's invisible. <sighs> I mean, that was going to be a critical mass she pinned to kill, but she was invisible, so I couldn't hit her. Unlucky. <laughs> but yeah, why? Do you really want to play on hit when you can do that? <laughs> 